greater than 8 wherein we are using only one inequality symbol. But in the case of double linear inequality, we are using two equality symbols, whether it is greater than, whether it is less than, as long as there's um, two inequality symbols. But how do you solve a single linear inequality? Solving single linear inequality follow the same process of solving linear equation. That's the similarity between inequalities and equations because uh, we are just following the same process. Simplify both sides. Get all the terms with the variable in one side and the numbers on the other side. And then multiply or divide both sides by the coefficient of the variable to get the solution. That's the step. Okay, we have example number one. 2x minus 6 is greater than 8. So, how to solve that? Okay, we are going to add in each side by 6. Okay, so we are going to add um, in the left and in the right by 6 to make it 2x minus 6 plus 6 is greater than 8 plus 6. And then we're going to simplify. We are going to simplify this one. So 2x plus negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 is greater than 8 plus 6 plus 14. Alright. Divide each side by 2. So, we're going to divide both sides by 2 to eliminate 2. Okay. So, cancel 2 is greater than 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. So, x is greater than 7. Okay. All numbers greater than 7 are the solutions. So, but 7 is not included. Numbers greater than 7 are the solutions of this inequality. Let's go to example number. is less than or equal to 3x divided by 3 so cancel 3 so our answer is negative 14 over 3 less than or equal to x no so there's an, another way so in this case we are going to change the direction of the inequality symbol so
So negative 14 over 3 is less than x. So meaning to say, x is greater than negative 14 over 3. So this is our final answer. x is greater than or equal to negative 14 over 3. Alright? Let's go to example number 3. 4 third x minus 6 is less than or equal to 5 minus 3 p. First step. We are going to multiply both sides by the LCD of 3 and 5, which is 15. Okay, so our denominator here is 3 and 5, so we are going to find the LCD, and that's 15. Alright, so we multiply 15 to one side and 15 to another side. Next, we're going to use the distributive property, meaning we're going to multiply 15 to 4, divided by 3 times x. Okay, that's it. Okay, 15 times 4, that's 60, divided by 3, that's 20x. Minus 15 times 6, that's 90, less than or equal to 15 times 5, that's 75. Minus 15 times 3, that's 45 divided by 5 that's 9 so we are now we have 20x minus 90 less is less than or equal to 75 minus 9 okay in this case we're going to add each side by 90 to so eliminate 90 negative 90 so we're going to add 90 from both sides so this is equal to 20x minus 90 plus 90 is less than or equal to 75 minus 9x plus 90. And then we're going to simplify. So that's 20x minus 90 plus 90, that's 0. So we don't need to write 0 here. Less than or equal to 75 plus 90, that's 165 minus 9x. Now, in this case, we're going to eliminate 9x. So we will add. 9x from both sides. So that's equal to 20x plus 9x is less than or equal to 165 minus 9x plus 9x. And then we're going to simplify. So it will become 29x because 20x plus 9x, that's 29x, is less than or equal to 165 minus 9x plus 9x is 0. So we have 29x is less than or equal to 165. And then we're going to divide both sides by 29 to eliminate 29. So we have here. Okay, so all we have to do is to cancel 29 and that's remain x. So our final answer would be x is less than or equal to 165 over 19. The 165 over 29 is not reducible. So be it. This is our final answer. So, if we're going to convert this to um, decimal, our solution set are the numbers approximately below 5.7. Let's go to example number 4. 3x plus 5 all over 3 is greater than 2x plus 10 all over 2. In this case, we can cross multiply. 2 times 3x plus 5 is greater than 3 times 2x plus 10 or simply multiply 6 from both sides. Okay. That's why, no? So 6 times 3x plus 5 all over 3 is greater than 6 times 2x plus 10 all over 2. We will use
and then we're going to subtract each side by 7. So that's equal to 3x plus 7 minus 7 is equal is less than or equal to 5x minus 20 minus 7. So we're going to simplify. That's equal to 3x plus 7 minus 7 is 0. So it's less than or equal to 5x minus 20 minus 7. Or 5x plus negative 20 plus negative 7 that's equal to negative 27. Next, we're going to subtract each side by 5x to eliminate 5x here uh, in the right side. So we have 3x minus 5x is less than or equal to 5x minus 5x minus 27. Then we're going to simplify. So 3x minus 5x, that's negative 2x, is less than or equal to 5x minus 5x, that's uh, 0. So bring down negative 27. Now, in this case, we are going to divide each side by negative 2 to eliminate negative 2 on the left side. So, we have negative 2x divided by negative 2 is less than or equal to negative 27 divided by negative 2. Take note class that multiplying or dividing both sides by a negative number, the inequality symbol changes direction. Now, in this case, since we divide negative 2 to both sides, so according to the rule, we're going to change the direction of the inequality symbols, which is less than or equal to, it will become greater than or equal to. So our final answer would be x is greater or equal to 27 over 2. Okay, any question? Let's go to example number 6. 23 over 2x plus 21 over x is less than 3 and 1 half. Now, in that case, we are going to multiply each. We're going to multiply each side by 2x because the LCD of 2x and x is x. By the way, when we speak of LCD, that's the least common denominator. Okay, so we're going to multiply 2x to both sides. So we have. 2x times 23 over 2x plus 21 over x is less than or equal to 3 and a half times 2x. So, we're going to use descriptive property. So, we have 2x times 23 over 2x or simply 2x and 2x cancel, that's 23. Plus, 2x divided by x, that's half 2. 2 times 21, that's 42. It's less than or equal to this 3 and a half is 3.5 times 2x that's 7x now we're going to simplify 23 plus 42 that's 65 is less than uh, 7x now in this case we're going to eliminate 7 so we're going to divide each side by 7 so that's equal to 65 over 7 is less than 7x over 7 so cancel 7 so our answer would be 65 over 7 less than x so let's pick up 65 over 7 less than x so it simply shows that x is greater than 65 over 7 so we're going to swap the signs so our final answer would be x is greater than 65 over 7 so it is advisable class that uh, the x should be in the left side okay any question this time, let's go to the challenge question. Negative 7 and 3 fourth plus x plus 1 half is less than or equal to 2 and 1 fourth. So, please answer this challenge question. If you know the answer, you can uh, write your answer in the comment below for us to check if it is correct or not. So, thank you.